So today we are opening up a Shook Sculpture of Fears. It's a Planeswalker pack thing. It comes with a Shook Sculpture of Sculpture of Fears. Four colorless, one blue, one black. Comes with four lore to counters. Plus two draw card. Each player puts the top two cards of his or her library into his or her grave into their graveyard. Minus five. Put her creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. And minus eleven, gain control of all creatures tied upon the controls. And now for the deck. The deck case looks like that. Gosh, it's pretty cool deck case. So first, it comes with one of these things that you could like have. It, you could redeem your code on an empty jarina, and you'll get stuff. So grave breaker lamia for chorus one black enchantment creature snake lama lamia. For four life link when grave breaker lamia enters the battlefield, search your library for a card. Put it onto the bat, put it into your graveyard, then shuffle your library. Spells you cast from your graveyard cost one card less to cast. Ashok Forerunner, three colors, one blue, one black, three three flash. When Ashok's Forerunner enters the battlefield, you may search your library and or graveyard for a card named Ashok Sculpture of Fears. Reveal it and put it into your hand. If you search your library this way, shuffle it. And another one of those. So I think those are it for the rares of the Ashok deck. Elite Instructor. Two cards from blue. Two, two. When Elite Instructor enters the battlefield, draw a card, then discard a card. Whoa. That's a really cool card. Tamir. Chosen from death. Two black. Two colorless. One star. Legendary enchantment creature. Demigod. Tyrants. No, Tamarts. Toughness is equal to your devotion to black. One card from black. Exile up to two target cards from gra from graveyards. You gain one life for each creature exiled this way. Dang, that's good. Another elite instructor. Towering wave mystic. One card from blue. Two one. When ta whenever towering wave mystic deals damage to target player. Tart player puts that many cards from the top of their library into their graveyard. Oh, so it, if it just does damage to anything. Dang. Another one of those. Another one of those. Fakara? Yeah, Fakara spawn. Three cards from black. Three, four, escape. Five cards from black. Exile three other cards from your graveyard. You may cast this card from your graveyard. For its escape cost. Fakra's spawn escape spawn Fakra's spawn escapes with two plus plus encounters on it. What? Escapes. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, I guess when she does that with with two plus plus, plus encounters on it. When it enters the battlefield this way, each opponent sacrifices a non Gorgon creature. Oh, I get it. You can cast it from its, your graveyard for its escape cost. Oh. Another one of those. Underworld Charger. Two cards from black. Three, three. Underworld Charger can't block. Escape for cards from black. Exile three other cards from your graveyard. Underworld Charger escapes with two plus one plus encounters on it. There's three of those. Devourer of Memory. One black. And one blue, one black, two, one. Whenever one or more cards are put into your graveyard from your library, the devourer of memory gets plus one, plus one, two on a turn and can't be blocked this turn. One card from blue, one black. Put the top card of your library into your graveyard. Another one of those. Simmer, swimmer in nightmares. Two cards from blue, one, four. Sw swimmer 
and Nightmares gets plus three plus zero as long as there are ten or more cards in a single graveyard. Swimmer in Nightmares can't be blocked as long as you control an Ashok Planeswalker. Another one of those, another one of those. Mind Rack Harpy, three colors from black, three, two, flying. At the beginning of combat on your turn, each player puts the top three cards of their library into their graveyard. There's four of those. Then there's the land. Right there. There's a specific land. Tap this, add one waste. One color, tap this, add one mana of any color. There's two of those. Glimpse of Freedom, one color from blue. Draw a card, escape, color from blue. Exile five other cards from your graveyard. Hmm. There's another one of those. Sleep of the Dead, one blue. Tire, tap tire creature, it doesn't even tap during its controller's next on tap step. Escape, two cards from blue. Exile three, three other cards from your graveyard. There's three of those. Final death, four cards from blue, exile, I mean one black, exile, target creature, there is two of those. Funeral rites, two cards from black, you draw two cards, lose two life, and put the top two cards of your library into your graveyard. There was two of those. Myers grass, one card from black, enchant creature, enchant creature gets minus three, minus three. There's two of those, and these cards right here. Which I don't know what they're for. So yeah. I think this deck is really, really, like, it's going to be hard to play. But once you get a hang of it, I think it's going to be, like, the best deck.